Now in this last part of the question, we're asked to solve the equation 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x equals 2 and give our solutions for x between 0 to 180 degrees, although we can actually equal 0 degrees. So how do we do this? Well, we rely on the previous part of the question that we found another way of expressing 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x. Do you remember it was that we got 5 cosine of 2x minus alpha. Alpha, you may remember, was 36.8698 and so on degrees. And that would equal the 2. Notice, by the way, that I've not rounded this answer up. I've not gone back to the 36.87 degrees. If you do, you've got every chance of getting an inaccurate answer at the very end of the question. So go back and make sure that you don't use the 0.87. Right, the next step is to get rid of this 5. So we divide both sides by 5, and if we do that, we get the cosine of 2x minus the 36.8698 and so on degrees equals 2 fifths or if you do 2 divided by 5 on your calculator you'll get 0 0.4. We now need to remove the cosine and to do that we take the inverse cos of both sides and that will leave me with 2x minus 36.8698 and so on degrees is equal to the inverse cosine of 0.4. Now, at this point, I always like to draw a quadrant diagram. Some of you might prefer drawing a graph, but I do find that the quadrant diagrams generally a lot quicker. So I'm going to just use this uh, method for this example. If you're unfamiliar with the uh, quadrant diagram, by the way, and you're watching this video on my website, you should find that at the bottom of this page, there are links to tutorials on the quadrant diagrams. OK, well, label this 0 degrees, this line here. Remember, this is 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360 degrees, if you turn this way. If you turn in the other direction, this is minus 90, minus 180, minus 270, minus 360. Anyway, we are looking for cosine, which is a positive value. And cosine is positive in the first quadrant, that's this quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. And in the usual way, draw two lines which are equally inclined to this horizontal line. And mark in that those two angles are exactly the same size. Now, what we need to do is first of all find out what we get when we inverse cosine 0.4. So let's just do that and if we do that on a calculator make sure your calculator is in degrees mode if you inverse cos 2 fifths or 0.4 you should find that you get 66.4218 and so on degrees. So what does this mean? Well, it means that this angle in here is 66.4218 degrees. And it also means, because we've labeled this and this as being the same size, it means that this angle in here is also 66.4218 degrees. But we wanted the angles 2x minus 36.8698 that gave a cosine of 0 0.4. So that means that this is one of them. Okay, This is a possible 2x minus 36.8698 and so on. And also, I know it goes beyond the 0 to 180 degrees, but if we start from here and we turn all the way around to here, I know it's more than 180 degrees, but remember, in a moment, what we're going to be doing is adding 36.8698 to this angle and to this one, and then dividing back by 2. 
and those answers will fall in the range 0 to 180 degrees. Watch, I'll show you. Because this angle here, this green one, okay, which we'd better mark in as a possible 2x minus 36.8698, okay, that angle is going to be 360 degrees take off the 66.4218. If you do that, what you should find you get is 293, we'll just put it in here, 293.5782 and so on degrees. So what we need to do now is add 36.8698 to each of these two angles and that would give us what 2x is equal to. So if we add this to the 66 odd degrees, first of all, what we get is 103.2916 and so on degrees. And if we add the 36 odd degrees to the 293 odd degrees, we're going to get 330.448 and so on degrees. All we need to do now is just divide each of these by 2 and you'll see that they come back within this range 0 to 180 degrees. So halving the first one gives 51.6458 and so on degrees. Halving the second one here gives 165.224 and so on degrees. Now we are asked to give x to one decimal place so if we round each of these answers up we get 51.6 degrees for the first one and 165.2 degrees for the second one so I'm just going to say that both of these angles are to one decimal place. All right. Well that gives you the answers now to this question. And that completes the whole question now.